1779, Jean-Baptiste Point de Souple, a Haitian, built the first permanent settlement at the mouth of the Chicago River. He left Chicago in 1800. In All right, y'all, so I took some clips from a Chicago history video, and I want y'all to hear how a Haitian basically founded the area of Chicago. Chicago is not America. Chicago is a company. And this video also explains to you when they started to incorporate areas. And when you hear them say incorporate, it don't mean add corporations. It means the area is now a business. So if you pretend to live in it, you're a property of theirs. You're their employee and you're not American. You're a Chicagoan or an Illinois because Illinois is a company as well. And remember, they're doing business on America. This is why they omit America out of all the paperwork, out of your schools, because they don't want you to claim to be American. Because once you claim to be American, they got to do a deal with you in order to get your permission to be here. But as long as you a U.S. is America citizen, you're nothing but a corporate entity because you're going to see that the U.S. did a deal with the Americans at that time in order to open up a military base in this area of America. If the United States is America, why would they have to do a treaty with the Americans in order to be there? This is why people need to wake up and trash that U.S. citizenship. Because once Americans wake up, the U.S. is going to have to deal with us as Americans, not as their U.S. not knowing what a state is citizens, y'all. So remember, when you hear them say, in 1829, businessmen incorporated, that means they no longer acknowledged America. All they acknowledged was a company they built by the name of Chicago, and it's not a built nothing because it's just on paperwork. The buildings there, the people there, everything you see that they're calling Chicago is in Chicago. That's America. Chicago's the company that's actually tricking Americans into giving up being American so they could be a U.S. citizen, so they could say they live in Illinois so they can say they live in Chicago and if you look in a banking dictionary look up the definition of living it will say to do business with so you're doing business with the company a foreign company you see the Haitian dude right here this is the guy that founded the first settlement on the land and they considered it Chicago so tell me what right does a Haitian have to come here and create any town he has none that's the americans job he didn't do any deal with the americans to do this and they went to war they burned that shit down then they came back and did a new treaties with the americans they got y'all thinking americans was these indians with feathers in their hair not true dog we are the americans In 1995, following the Northwest Indian War, Native Americans ceded the area of Chicago to the United States for a military post in the Treaty of Greenville. The U.S. built Fort Dearborn in 1805. The choicest lots. On August 12, 1833, the town of Chicago was incorporated by northern businessmen with a population of 350. Hey, what up, y'all? Planning to fix here. And I guess in this area of America, it was like a war zone. Over 100 people shot. Martin G. Johnson is telling people it's white supremacy for dropping the guns there. But let me ask you a question. If people drop poison in the middle of the hood, would people gather that poison and start poisoning each other with it? Or would they store that poison so they could poison whoever put it out there? That's my question. Same with the guns. Just because they drop guns in the hood, it doesn't mean you have to use them on each other. But when you promote songs that say it's all right to kill each other, movies saying it's all right to kill each other and just have no respect for each other, what do you think is going to happen with the guns? No different than with the poison. If we had music talking about 
and glorifying people poisoning and killing each other and then some people left poison in the hood and people started poisoning each other who would you blame the people leaving the poison or the people glorifying poisoning people and thinking they're big and bad from killing each other but i want to break down that martin g i'm a debunk that white supremacy because he's claiming white supremacy is the reason for black people's problem. And I don't understand that when nobody puts a gun to anybody's head and makes them be a U.S. citizen. Yeah, your mother makes you be one from birth. But we all could stop that if we educated our women and provided safe havens for them to have babies in. With hospitals and all these other things that the U.S. provide, we can provide ourselves and it would be cheaper. But I'm going to debunk him because you can't talk about white supremacy when all you care about and all you love is your state and your city. And when somebody asks you what a state or city is, you can't tell them. So you don't even know that you're pretending to live in white foreign companies. And then you wonder why you're sitting here feeding the youth about white supremacy. Of course you're going to be oppressed by white people. You're living in their foreign companies when you're supposed to be the Americans charging them rent to be here. Let's get into this. Plenty of the fakes. People don't even know what they're living in. They don't care what they're living in. They just want to point the finger at innocent people that don't have nothing to do with it. They've been tricked too. The buck stops here, man. Martin G. old enough to know what a city and a state is. The reason he don't know why, he too busy pumping uh, an uh, agenda. City of Chicago www city of chicago org fin skyway october 27 2004 whereas the city of chicago the city is a body politic and corporate under the laws of the state and what is a body politic and corporate it is a term applied to a corporation which is usually designated a body corporate is that not what the city of chicago is a body corporate that's a company so ask all these fake pro blacks all respect to Martin G. What is the city of Chicago? He can't even tell you. But let me tell you this. If I youth knew that states and cities were foreign companies only here to regulate our deaths, they would have somebody to point those guns at and it wouldn't be us. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eka.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of Face 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet up.